six gallons of oil in one large oil filter. Room swept out from under the fire truck. We're gonna change the oil today. So let me crank it up, let it let the oil get warmed up, and then we'll get busy. Let's crank this thing up. Before we get started let's have a quick talk about oil that you should use for a two-stroke Detroit now what you need is a CF2 rated oil and you want it uh, not a multi-weight oil so you know I, I think the most common ones are 10 weight 30 weight and 40 weight and it's hot down here so we're gonna run the 40 weight um, and it needs to have a low ash content. I think it's like one or below, um, on the ash content. I'm just going off memory. And I think the Rotella T1 is borderline. I think it may be one or really close to one. Dello 40 is probably, uh, is probably considered to be one of the best oils you can get for it. It's just hard to find. And in my area, I couldn't find it local. Uh, Tractor Supply carries the Rotella T1. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in it. I may change that up, you know, if I can find a good supplier. There's also, you know, some other brands. I think there's one on Amazon you can kind of find, but you can't really find any much information on those. I mean, you can find the spec sheets on them and, the, and they look good. But as far as anybody running them, I can't find anything on it. So we're gonna run this Shell Rotella T140 and it uh, should be a good oil. It's definitely better than the oil that's in it because I'm not sure how old that is. And I think it's a tin weight and it's a little, that's a little thin for the heat this thing's gonna be running in. So we're gonna put this in it and if I find a good deal on the Dello 40, I'll probably switch over to that. For the next oil change. All right, my oil container holds 23 quarts, so hopefully that's big enough. I uh, bought this one because it was bigger than the I think five quart one that I had, or five gallon one that I had. So this holds a little, a little more than that, um, almost six gallons. So um, let's um, hope. That it holds everything i've got a bucket handy if i need to but uh, we've got a um, three eighths allen for the drain plug and we let it warm up and burn myself here it shouldn't be that hot I'm not burning hot warm yeah see how thin that is I'm pretty sure that's tin white oil it's a very thin oil so we're gonna replace that with 40 weight I'm gonna let that drain for a few minutes and I'll bring y'all back all right it's done draining a few little drips I did this is pipe thread I did throw a little bit of pipe thread stuff on it it's probably not needed but um, I did make sure not to get any of the top of it so it's not in the pan or anything like that it's just gonna help seal those threads probably not needed like I said but just a little extra, just to make sure we don't end up with the drip. And we don't have to go over 
go crazy with the torque on it. That should be good. And let's uh, move on over. We'll move our drain pan over to the filter. I need to wipe down the filter housing and then we'll start trying to undo that. We'll drain the drain the housing then take it off. Y'all have actually got a better view than I do. Uh, we're gonna there's a little drain on here. We're gonna drain this filter housing and then it's got a, a through bolt that goes all the way through it that kind of bolts the canister on. We're gonna start by just draining it so we don't make as big of a mess. Drain plug or a drain pan in place. Should be a decent amount of oil in here. You know, nothing like making a mess. All over my hand. Forgot to grab some gloves at the shop. Yeah, it's a lot of oil in this little canister. Well, I say little canister, it's a big canister. I did go ahead and wipe, you can see, I was kind of clean this upper uh, portion of it. I wiped all the way around the canister um, with a rag, well, a paper towel, just to make sure it was uh, clean, you know, when we take this thing out. Oh, it's splattered on me. It just splattered on me. Right in the face. Alright, that's probably good. It's just a little little bit of oil still draining from it. We just want to make get it to where we're not making as big of a mess. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this back down. We may have a new uh, gasket for that, I don't know. I don't know if it came with one or not. I do have a rag under here. Well, again, paper towel. So, I'm not sure why I'm wiping myself down now because I'm probably about to get oily again, but. Alright. Let's grab another socket. I don't know, what is this, 5 8 maybe? Yep. Alright, where is our ratchet? Here. So we're going to do this through bolt, and y'all are going to go falling down. Yeah. Probably a decent view right there. Sorry about the fall. Handful. I think what I'll do is try to get it down gracefully and then we'll put it uh, in our oil pan and just slot our oil pan out. Probably the easiest thing. You'll let it drain a little bit into the oil pan. There it goes. I'm gonna get all this slid out and I'll show you what we got. Let's uh, slide this filter out. And let's see if we can find any, see any markings on it. It's a Wix 51133. And what we got to replace it. since I ordered this thing. I think this is a fleet guard, if I remember right. Let's see. Fleet guard LF509N. So we're going to need to compare that. It looks about right. It's all nice and sealed up. We got some O-rings. 
some gaskets. I mean, we don't see one on here. I'm guessing there's one up on the thing. So we got that, and that's probably for the bottom. It does not look like we have a new one for that drain, so we'll reuse that. That's some brass. Oh yeah. Let's look at what we've got here. That's uh, some kind of fiber. I don't like the feel of that. Let's see. I'm going to leave the... I don't like the feel of that. We've got a, a crush... Not a... We got a brass washer here. So, yeah, and it looks just wiping it off. And then we'll look at this. Looks like what we've got on the drain as well. We're gonna reuse that uh, brass washer. This is some kind of a fiber. I'm not too crazy about it. Or it doesn't seem that strong. I mean, I can bend it. It feels kind of breakable. So, we're going to reuse that brass one. What I'll do, I'll just keep that in mind. Next old change I do. And we'll look at a Wix filter and see what um, kind of, uh, you know, stuff it comes with. Uh, as far as uh, if it comes with a new brass washer down there. Uh, if not, we will buy one. Like I said, this one looks to be good. And it was not leaking or anything before. We will clean up both sides of it and I'm going to reuse it. I know some people are going to probably not like that, but that's what we're going to do. Sometimes old stuff's better than new stuff. So it does not appear to be a up and down side of these filters. They are the same on both sides. They've got a gasket, big gasket on both ends. So we've got um, this thing drained. It looks clean inside. There is a spot that it fits in in the bottom, and it is in that now. So I'm going to crawl up under, and well, I should have left my drain plug underneath because look, now we've got a dripping mess. Let's clean that up. Uh, I'm going to see what kind of gasket we've got up under it and replace that gasket real quick. I'll try to get y'all up in here to show you without getting stuff on the camera. But if you look, right in there. Right here, there's a gasket. We're gonna pull that out. All right, old one out. We'll pull the new one. We'll slip it, slip it up in there. And once I get it up in there, we've got oil dripping. I'm gonna wipe all around the gas. Or once I get up under there, I'll wipe all up under, wipe all over it with oil. It's got oil dripping, so we got a good supply of oil there to lubricate this o-ring. Yeah, I don't know how well you'll even be able to see, but... It's just impossible. Oops, sorry. I'm going to rotate that around like this. I like that better. That uh, plug, well, it was about like that before. I guess we can leave it about like that. Alright, so we're going to have to make sure when we're tightening this thing down that we um, Make sure y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can see. We're gonna guide this canister 
evenly into the housing. So it's in the housing. Now, I did tighten this thing down. We're gonna double check that. Oh, yeah, it's tight. Okay. Sop up my oil down here. It dripped. Should have left the drain pan under here. Or grabbed a second drain pan. All right, let's uh, go up top. Let me grab a funnel, and we'll fill this thing up with some oil. Alright, I'm going to do this a bunch of times. Uh, my oil container in there is not full, so it's it did not have six gallons in it. So I'm going to probably throw three in it and check it. I know it's going to hold more than three, but uh, let me do that real quick and then I'll come back to y'all. Three gallons in it, I'm sure it's going to need more, but... Let's just check it. Don't want to overfill it. Wipe it off. Got this thing way down in there. And we are almost to the full mark. So, I'm going to throw half a gallon in it. And then we'll crank it up. Alright, threw another half gallon in it. And let's see. We are just a hair over full. I think once we start it up, it may be a little bit on the low side, but we'll see. And once some oil gets in that filter. Alright, let's go crank this thing up. for a minute and then uh, we'll uh, cut it off and check the oil. I guess while it's running we can get up under it and make sure we've got no uh, leaks with it under pressure. Looks good from there. I'm going to crawl under it and check. So, 
checked it and it was uh, just below the ad mark and um, I've been checking it checked it and it was added three quarts to it and we are pretty much right at full you can see that so we are full that was four gallons and then just over one quart of the fifth gallon so just over uh, just a smidge over six uh, 17 quarts that's it that is changing the oil on a Detroit 6v53 uh, fire truck probably a very specific that's a very specific how-to video I guess that no one probably uh, is actually gonna search for and look for because who's searching for a 6v53 fire truck oil change video anyway but if you happen to be hope this helped thanks for watching leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe for more